what's up guys you know uh, it's really hard when you shoot your videos yourself like i have to go back to the camera do a couple of settings come back to city and look whether i'm fine i'm looking i'm really looking good yet yeah? yeah people are saying that lately money will soon come but <laughs> So basically today's video is about uh, the trip I went with a couple of friends to um, the only suspended lake in Africa and one of the only two in the entire world. So um, there has been this argument about Africans really not exploring Africa and especially Nigerians not wanting to explore Nigeria due to a couple of um, reasons but a couple of us have taken it upon ourselves to do these things and also encourage a couple of more people to join us in doing this and i'm almost sure it will go down in history that a couple of us really did a bunch of work to make this happen trust me nigeria will be a foremost country for tourism in years to come like right down to this day without wasting much time let's go to Adu Hawaii, a small village in the heart of Oyo state where the only suspended lake in the entire Africa is situated. A suspended lake is actually any lake that can be found on top of a mountain and there are only two of such in the world. The first is the Angin Lake in Colorado, USA and the second is the suspended lake of Adu Hawaii, Nigeria. I wouldn't have asked for a better score to go with as Ye One Day Wumi, Adragbe Me and Tolu showed me that folks working in the financial sector can be adventurous too. <music> Having climbed the mountain for the second time in two years, I find a couple of things interesting about it, but the most striking of them all is the fact that the Adu Hawaii Mountain as a tourist attraction houses other tourist attractions on top of it. The first of them is the Yaki Lake. This is the suspended lake itself and then people are actually forbidden to bath inside it because it is sacred to do so according to our guide. But people are allowed to drink from it or take some water home to pray with. Also the Shage Rock, a vertical rock standing carelessly on a slope but has never fallen. The people usually come do prayer requests to the rock and will come show gratitude by tying a white piece of cloth around it whenever their wishes are granted. There is also the Seawangba the fabled footprints of the ancestors of Adu Hawaii. 